Hi, and welcome to Evolve Habits. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do my favorite release on the trigger point grid, the lower leg. The lower leg is an area of several muscles and very dense connective tissue that are highly involved in locomotion. Dysfunction and overwork is common because of the shoes we wear and the positions that we are in all day. This can cause a lot of pain and discomfort in this area. We do this release in the aim of relieving this. I also have a different problem where my big toe twitches in the night while I sleep. This leaves my lower leg very tired and achy in the morning. If I do this release before bed, then that all goes away. Okay, so for this release, we're going to have to split the lower leg into two zones. This is because our leg is simply too long for the diameter of the grip. Now, the first zone is going to be from the ankle to the ridge of the belly of the muscle here, and then the belly of the muscle itself. Now, before we get any further, I want to make it clear that we should not be in any pain at all during this release. If we are, this is going to cause your muscle to tighten, and this is going to prevent us from getting in deep and doing the actual release that we want to do. Now, we have to be in good posture. A nice open posture is important because this is a postural exercise, and that you're not going to get so much from this if you are slumped over because that's the position that you'll release into. We also want to be nice and open because it helps us get nice deep breaths. Breath, breathing is very important to, while using the trigger point grid because we need to get as much oxygen into our blood as possible to reoxygenate the areas that we are rolling. It also is important because when we exhale, we actually create a negative pressure which helps draw the waste that's in our extremities up and into our core. Okay, so for this release, we want to take our grip and place it perpendicular under our lower leg in the center of the zone that we're rolling. You want to sit back, supported by your arms, in a nice open posture, and place the other leg on top. Now, if this isn't enough pressure, you could raise your body off the ground. However, that requires a lot of strength and can prevent you from relaxing. So for most people, it's better just to stay with your butt on the ground. Now, if this is causing some pain to have your foot on top, you could take it off and place it on the side. Now, you also want to be careful in this position if you're like me and you have some small children in the house. Because every time my kids see me in this position, they like to run up, climb on top, and get a horsey ride. Now, this adds a lot of pressure and doesn't really relax, so I don't get as much from it. Okay, so, but for me, I like to have my foot on top. Now we want to do the four knee bends nice and slow. We inhale as we pull our knee up, and exhale as it goes down, and the grid returns towards our body. One, two, Three, four. Okay, that's what. Now we do the four spans. So inhale. One, two. Inhale again. Three, and four. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna. You want to repeat it for the next zone. On the same leg and then for the both zones on the opposite leg. Okay so who is this release ideal for? Obviously for anyone with tired and achy lower legs. It's also great for anyone who does a lot of work with this, these muscles such as runners. When would they want to perform this release? Well if they have a lot of pain and stiffness in their lower leg you'll want to do this release before working these muscles. Why? because the pain and stiffness will severely inhibit their ability to perform. Now, for a runner, you look, it's great to do this release after running, so that you can push the metabolic waste up and out, and help increase the speed of recovery. 